Using Storyblock with Astro makes a lot of sense. Astro works best for content sites and will provide really amazing performance, and Storyblock is a great way not only to edit your content with a visual editor, but create workflows to work better with a team. In fact, I already made an intro video about working with these two texts, so if you're brand new to this stack, definitely check it out, but recently I've found a way to make it even better, and that's using server-side rendering inside of Astro to make your content workflow even smoother. So first, let's take a look at how Astro's default static output works. When we build our app, we run this get static paths method that will query Storyblock, get all of the pages, and use the state of those pages at build time to generate static HTML. This means that once we deploy our site, if we make changes in our CMS like Storyblock, we won't be able to see previews of our pages because that page's content is just static HTML, so it won't use the Storyblock API to fetch the most recent data. And this is where server-side rendering comes in. Instead of generating all of our pages at build time, we can deploy code that runs on the server, so whenever someone hits our endpoint, we can fetch the most recent data from our CMS and display that. Luckily for us, this is really easy to set up in Astro. Let's start with the code from the last video. There's two things that we need to add to enable SSR. First, we have to go to our Astro config and set output to server, and then we have to add an adapter that will help generate the Astro code needed to run server-side. There's a couple different adapters available depending on your environment, but in this one, I'm going to use an adapter for Netlify. And with Astro's great CLI, we can run Astro add Netlify, and it'll take care of updating a lot of the config for us. Now we have to change how we're working with some of our pages. Previously, we had this one catch-all route that used get static paths to statically generate pages at build time. But now since this is all SSR'd, we're going to have to change it. So let's just remove everything and start again. First, we want to pull the current slug from our page from astro.params. And then one quick tip here is that in Storyblock, the slug from my homepage is indexed, but in Astro, there won't be a slug for this. So we can add this one quick line to handle that specific case. Next, we want to get access to the Storyblock API and then use it to get from our CDN slash stories, pass in our slug. And for now, let's say we want to get the draft version and this should be working. We're pulling the data from Storyblock and then all the rendering shell happens the same as we've seen with other Storyblock apps. It'll take whatever blocks we use inside of our content and map it to the components that we have inside of our Storyblock folder. And that's all we need to do. Now, if we just hook up a Netlify app to the Git repo for our project, we can see how this really helps at editing workflow. So for this video, I just deployed it to one of those Netlify URLs and it's already looking great. But now let's go back to the Storyblock app, setting visual editor, and then add our URL as one of our preview URLs. Now, if we go back to the visual editor, we can see our Nellify URL in this dropdown. And if we click it, we can start editing a deployed version of our site. We can start editing our content. And as soon as we hit save and update our draft, we'll get an updated version inside of our deployed app. Since Astro doesn't ship any JavaScript to the browser, we won't be able to get those live updating features that we're used to. But still, this is a lot better than having to redeploy our app for someone to see our changes. I think that this is a really helpful tip, especially when you have people on your team that are dedicated for content and might not have the app running locally. And another helpful tip that I use is to use Storyblock's autosave plugin that will automatically save your drafts as you're working on them. This means that you don't have to press that save button every single time you want to make changes. And one really great idea is that you can use differing rendering approaches depending on the environment. So let's say on your staging site, you wanted to use SSR so that people can edit your content. Then on the production version, you could still have everything statically generated to make some of these pages even more performant and not having to hit your API so often. There's different ways to set this up in Swordblock with webhooks or Astro's hybrid rendering, but there's probably a topic for another video. I hope this quick tip helped and I'll see you in the next one.